Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to enable the new substitution feature in Snow Leopard. Basically what this new feature does is it will auto-correct your mistyped words in all of the Cocoa-based applications that you have on your Mac. So technically this isn't a system-wide feature, but hopefully as more and more apps become Cocoa-based, it will become more widely usable for, you know, the majority of my applications, this feature will work. So basically what we have to do to enable this auto-correction feature is we need, we need to go into the system preferences. And once we're inside the system preferences, we are going to go into language and text right here. And if you look up here at the top, you're going to see a little box that says text. So I want you to go to that. What we're going to see here is the small list of symbols that Snow Leopard is automatically going to correct for you. You can see them here in this list. The, the, and right now, this feature to me is pretty lame. Because I was expecting when we got this feature that it was going to have a huge database of words that was automatically going to correct for you. For example, the way Microsoft Word would do it. But no, all we get here are some basic symbols, mostly relating to numbers and things, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add your own words to the list as you find words that you commonly misspell. So what I've went through and done is I'll just type normally and when I see something that I know I type wrong all the time, for example the word the, I'll just click on the little plus button and I'll type in the word that I commonly misspell. Let's say I misspell the word sent all the time and I type S-N-E-T. Well, what I want it to do is I want it to correct it to... S-E-N-T. So all we have to do is type it in there after clicking the plus sign and it will be saved there automatically. And another thing I have to complain about this is that you have to enable it in an actual text box in the program that you're using before it's actually going to work. Basically what that means is say I am using Safari and I want the autocorrection to be enabled. Instead of it working by default, which you think it normally would, you actually have to right click on the text box and then go down here to substitutions. And if you see right here at the bottom of the list, it's going to show text replacement. And you have to check that box in order for the text replacement or substitution to work properly in Safari. So for example, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Basically you just type in for the word that you would normally misspell like I just added on there. So we'll type in sent and if you type it wrong and you push space it will automatically be corrected. It is a useful feature, don't get me wrong, but for now, you're going to have to manually add in all of the words that you make errors on frequently. So that's basically it. It's, just remember, it's not going to work in all of your applications like ADM and iTunes, for example. You're going to have to check to see, you know, by right-clicking on the box if it's going to work properly or not. If it's not going to work with that application, it's not even going to show this substitution's choice here at all.